Now that we're about three weeks into the new season, I've had time to really settle in the Nitro movement and find the best ways to dominate with it. Now I've never been one to gatekeep, so I created a comprehensive guide that shows you guys how to dominate with Nitro movement. First and foremost is the knockback ability. Anytime I have an enemy approaching my visual audio, I rotate their direction with a tactical sprint. Depending on spacing, I'll either go for a bump and run action or try a slide kick. What I've noticed is if you catch someone at a certain angle or with their feet off the ground, you can send them high enough where they get KO'd on fall damage. Now I saw a video going around that claimed boogie bombs cause these high flying eliminations, but that's not accurate. It actually seems to base it off where the player's momentum is at. If you hit someone with their momentum moving upward, then they're likely to get eliminated to fall damage. But if someone's descending from the top of their jump, aka downward momentum, then they're less likely to get eliminated. The effects from knockback also allows for a more aggressive bump and gun style of play that keeps an enemy team from suffocating your space. The knockback ability also handles well with webby movement. Circle and U-turn strafing can literally turn you into a linebacker where you've got your opponent pinned in a tight space chipping away at their health with knockback damage alone. Now the more advanced your movement and awareness is, the more risk you can take. For example, I make an early jump on this team with Megalodon's medallion. I know if I keep moving, I can disrupt their squad until the cavalry comes, as long as I have an exit strategy in case things turn south. Right here is where I find an opportunity for a slide kick. Notice she tried to jump right before impact. This in fact boosted the height my kick center to where she's now going to get eliminated when she hits the ground. Now they're down a person and the cavalry is here. Another key technique is called kiting. Because Nitro Effect makes you so fast, as well as immune to fall damage, you'll find opportunities where you can constantly keep your enemy at a distance. This allows you to take advantage of a boom bolt or other effective medium range weapons. Here's a really good example of how effective kiting can be. I nudge off my first opponent and knock them, but expended a lot of my HP in the process. If I face that combat shoddy at this range with Oscar's shoddy, I'm liable to lose. Instead, I find an opportunity to sprint jump over them and slide for additional space that's perfect for a burst SMG. Kiting has quickly become one of my favorite styles of play to use with Nitro movement. As the fake inside, with an instant pullback out to medium range, constantly leaves an enemy off balance. When it's all said and done, Nitro and its effects are so meta that even when you're down, you're never out of the fight. But that about wraps things up from here guys. As always, thank you for watching, and be sure to follow for more tips from Clift.